Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I am so excited for this. This is going to be great. Uh, we are doing Unsealed today. Unsuper Sealed. Woo! Unsealed sounds a little bit. Unstable Unsealed. Little bit. Yes, <laughs> specifically. Um, yeah, so the reason this took so long is uh, we needed we needed our camera two camera person, Frosty over here. Frosty. Upside down. <laughs> yeah, and uh, this is this is gonna be really good. Uh, so, but before we get started, I'm gonna just lead off with uh, a few little orders of business here. So, uh, heading over to Flipside Gaming. Uh, use promo code Forest Bear to get 10% off your next order, um, and some of the proceeds go towards us. We uh, we since that apocalypse hit, you know, it's been it's been a little rough been a little rough on us lately and we always um, end up with weird things to buy so like that yeah <laughs> uh frosty of course uh is living on the streets we each had to sell a kidney <laughs> mr boopster needs a second water feature for his pool you know times have been rough mm -hmm. <laughs> so so head on over there it'll help us out we also have a patreon where you can submit deck lists for us to play finally done with all the orders of business so let's get to this we are doing this today um i am playing a deck that is basically all host and augment creatures, so I'm going to call it Selesnia Science Experiment, because it's green-white. And I'm playing a deck all about rolling dice, and it's Jun, so Jun dice rolls. Yeah, yeah, should be good. Um, so we need a way to determine who's going to go first. I have an idea. Okay. So we have this dice, right? Yeah. So we roll this dice, uh -huh. whatever it ha comes up. Left arm. Then we punch Frosty in his left arm with this glove. And the first time he says "ow," that's the person that goes first. Ow. <laughs> that doesn't make any doesn't make any sense. What is that? Ow! That's right. Ten. <laughs> okay, I've got a I've got a better idea to decide who goes first. All right. So you see all these dice here? We're each gonna we're each just gonna do one of these, and uh, we're gonna add all those up. <laughs> And then we're gonna ask Frosty who goes first. What? Who goes first? Add them all up. No, just, just oh. who goes first. Who goes first? Akis. Yeah, you're yes. done. All right. <laughs> now pick those up. <laughs> this is a very dangerous work environment all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, those spread out further than I thought they would. Yeah. Anyway. Those went everywhere. Yeah, they sure did. So we'll see you in game one. All right, it is game one. Go ahead and show your hand. You We've got my hand. <laughs> Those. Whoop. And for myself. Ta da! Good stuff. Hopefully, you get a good shot of that. Better great, than usual. Great shot. Extremely shiny, in fact. <laughs> a lot of, lot of glare. A lot of, uh, a lot of light. <laughs> All right, lead us off. Let's see what shenanigans we can get into. The secret base. Oh, okay. Enter go. Don't you have to pick a... No, it's the watermark that's on the card. Oh, yeah, sure. That makes sense. Draw a card. That one's fine. Here's a forest. Go ahead. I was planning on using all on lands, but we didn't have enough since we share a color. So that is okay. Forest. And here's Quark's other thumb. All right. So if I would roll a dice, I roll two dice and ignore one of the results. Sounds good. Jergo. It's like the perfect card for me. Draw a card. Yeah, pretty much. Um, okay, so we're going to go for a planes and a wild crocodile. So when it enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic land, reveal it, put it into your hand, shuffle your library. I'm going to get a forest. Pass turn. Untap. Draw for turn. A lot of those. Forest. And a mad science fair project. Okay. Which I can tap to roll a six sided dice on a three or lower. I add a colorless, and then otherwise I add one mana of any color to my mana pool. So you get a mana no matter what? Yeah. Sounds good. That's only colored. About half the time. <laughs> Slightly more likely, though. Is that racist? I don't know. <laughs> um, all right. So, you good? Yeah. Untap. Draw a card. All right. What do I want to turn this wild crocodile into? 
Um, I think maybe I don't quite yet. So we're just going to bash for one. Take it. 19. Play a planes. And here is just an ordinary pony. So when it enters the battlefield, I can exile target non-horse creature and return to the battlefield under my control. While Crocodile will come back, give me another land. Pass the turn. The planes with that one. Untap. Draw for turn. We're gonna play. Look at that intense focus. That's pretty good focus. Green squirrel, <laughs> since it shares my watermark. Yep. Which I can tap to increase the result of a die roll by any player by one. Okay. Here's another forest. A lot of forests. Not a lot of green cards Danger yet. Go. Alright, untap. Draw a card. That's definitely enough of those now. So what I think I'm going to do... Uh, that's just a 1-1 one, one on the ground? Yeah. Right? It's a squirrel. So, pretty obviously. Um, hmm. We'll play another planes. And I think what we'll do is turn Ordinary Pony into Humming Pony by augmenting... <laughs> Humming onto it. So it now is a bird horse. It has flying and it's whenever I attack with two or more creatures, I can exile target non-horse creature I control and return to the battlefield, etc. And it gives this plus two plus three, making it a four six. With flying. With flying. So what I'll do is I'll attack with these, and I've attacked with two or more creatures, so I will exile this one and have it come back. Which removes it from combat, and gets me another land. I take four in the skies, go yes. fifteen. Pony from this ridiculous. from this humming pony. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Untap. Drop return. See, that's about the end of my top end, and that's really not what I want. <laughs> It'd be nice if you actually rolled a dice. It'd be pretty good. I mean, I could just roll dice for fun, but you could. It's true. I kind of needed that uh, land, and not my final top end card. Here go. <laughs> All right. Untap. Draw a card. Um, here's a forest. And I think what we'll do is do that. Let me get an untap. And I can do that. Sure. Okay. So we're going to cast Eager Beaver. So when it enters the battlefield, I can untap target permanent. I will choose forest. And then, I think I will turn Eager Beaver into Half Squirrel, Half Beaver. Oh my. So it's whenever, whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield, I can untap any target permanents. So that's pretty good. Ooh. Unfortunately, it turns this into a 2-2 because Squirrel actually oh, yeah. gives it minus 1, minus 0, which is kind of funny. Um, and then we will just attack with these. And I will... Because I'm attacking with two or more things. Exile Wild Crocodile. It comes back. A non-token creature I control entered the battlefield, so I can untap any target permanent. I'll choose Humming Pony, I'll which I assume is one permanent. And then yes. this triggers, gets me land. So, after all that, said and done, four. Yeah, so 11. Sounds good. And I believe that is my turn. Yes. Go ahead. Draw for turn. Oh, it's mana acceleration, but just a land would have been fine at this point. Here's another mad science project. Okay. Really? You need more than five mana? <laughs> yeah, I need six before I can do anything. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Okay. I drew, like, all my top end. <laughs> well, I mean, you can start doing it next turn, at least. And it's not like I have you dead in one hit or anything. Draw a card. Wow! How many lands am I going to draw? <laughs> Not enough. Jeez. Especially since you've been I know. farming that. <laughs> I've drawn like a land almost every turn. I'd uh, love a land. Yeah. I would love to give you some of these lands if it means I get spells. I'll play a forest. Um, let's see. Hmm. Can the camera see his concentration? <laughs> 
Yeah, look at this. Look, look at look at how absurd this is. <laughs> it's got like nothing to do. But these cards in play are pretty good. So I'm thinking. So I think what we're gonna do, and don't ask me how this works, because I don't know. Uh, we're gonna use really epic punch. <laughs> So target creature you control gets plus two plus two. If it's a host or has augment, then it fights target creature you don't control. So I'll give my humming pony plus two plus two. Also worth noting, this is not till end of turn, so it, it is a permanent plus two plus two. It's not actual counters, but yeah. So that puts that pretty high, and then this will fight that. A poor squirrel. What I kind of just wanted to. to I kind of just wanted to pump it, to be perfectly honest. Um, let's see here. Then we will. Bash with these. And then this one's trigger on the stack. Crocodile How's again. That? Um, so that is another thing that enters. So I'll also untap this. Uh, this will search for land. I'm, I'm not actually done quite yet. So I got a planes. Hopefully not draw another land next turn. Oops. And before damage, I will also cast Success. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. If it's a host or has augment, it gains lifelink. So this will be for eight, Kay. nine, ten. I'll go to one. And I will gain eight, going to 28. Aren't you glad that you bounced that? <laughs> yeah. You'd have killed me out if you didn't. Oh, this? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Well, <laughs> would I have? Yeah, because I'm at one now. Sure, but... Uh... Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> that was just bad. But I want you to do something, so go ahead. Untap. Apparently Rock I can't return. do basic math today, either. Or at all. <laughs> today? Nah, just... <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm terrible. <laughs> tap to roll two six-sided dice. Sure. And we'll take the six, adding a red. Okay. Tap to roll two six-sided dice. And we'll take the six, adding a red. Sure. And yeah, I guess this is a May. Steam must. floggery. We roll Ooh. a six-sided dice and assemble that number of contraptions. Oh my God. One. Well, we'll take a six. Okay. So we assemble six contraptions guys, but... onto the three, but I don't think I can crank them this turn. Ah, uh, unless some of them maybe does. <laughs> You're just using a magic origins pack. That's funny. I mean, we could use Mr. Boopster's got three balls. That's true. <laughs> he does have three balls. We didn't open any of that card that's yeah, apparently. convenient for it. Buzz buggy. That's helpful. We'll put that on three. A record store. Okay. Which, yeah, not real helpful, but we'll put it on one. Arms Depot pumps some creatures. We'll put that on three because we're not going to have any creatures. Thud for dud, deals <laughs> damage to a creature, so we'll put that on that one. Rapid Prototyper makes some creatures, we'll put that on one. And Top Secret Tunnel makes creatures unblockable, we'll put that on two. All right. Enter go. <laughs> okay, so we'll untap all these, draw a card. Man. Apparently, apparently this deck just loves me having land, so here's a wild crocodile again. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to use that to untap this. Search for land. How many do I have left? One, two, three, four. And I was drawing another one next turn. <laughs> I had four lands left in my deck. Must be nice. Yeah. What's nice is having this. <laughs> You know what's not nice? Hmm. Having a walking tripod. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the fun part, right? Uh, so since he didn't get his comeuppance last time, and I don't think I'm missing anything, I will attack you for one. Dead. <laughs> well, that was an anticlimactic game one, but uh, they could yeah. assemble some weird things. So what all do you have here? Oh, you had a sum in the pack, but that cost yeah, eight. Eight drop, six drop, six drop, and then this was my draw. It wouldn't have mattered. What the? I just got a land. And it was fine. Yeah. Then, well, that, that's what sometimes happens. So that was this game, and we'll see you in game two. Okay, game two. Go ahead and show your hand. We've got the camera two.
Mine's frosty. Camera one might be better. A lot more steady. Those. And for Screw my... Screw camera one. <laughs> and for myself, I've got these bad boys. Always this. Always this. What? <laughs> I'm showing camera one, oh, camera two. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it can record through the lens. It, it could pro I could probably get camera one to record through camera two's lens. Ooh, yeah. There's an idea. <laughs> All right. Let's see what you got. Swamp. And a snickering squirrel. Sure. Here we go. Better lead off than last time. Uh, for me, since you played a white bordered swamp, I'll play a silver bordered forest. Pass the turn. Untap. Drop return. We'll play a no bordered for forest. Yep. And Moody Superior. A steel squirrel. All right. And attack you for one. I will take it. What does steel squirrel do again? If you roll a five or higher, then he gets plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the result. Oh my god. But only on five or higher. But yeah, sure. he can all of a sudden just. <laughs> just out of nowhere. Bunch. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. Sure. Draw a card. That's the. Okay. That's what I drew last turn, too. <laughs> but, I mean, it's a decent card. So here's a plains, and here's a wild crocodile. Go fetch a land. Go ahead. Untap. Silverboard of Forest. Draw for turn. A mountain. It's weird to actually just have one of each basic. Yeah. <laughs> and a mad science fair project. Ooh. All right. I'm gonna tap that for mana. Okay. So roll two six-sided dice. Or no, sorry. I yeah, you just roll one, one with that. I don't have a thumb. So. But you can increase it, right? Yeah, that's not worth increasing. Yeah. So, no attacks. Enter go. Sure. Untap. Draw. Ugh, gonna, gonna be that again, huh? Okay, so then what we'll do is play a forest and we will make a half kitten half crocodile so now it's a two three whenever i'm dealt damage i can fetch a land um and that's a pretty safe attack i think so i will attack you for two take it go to 18 with this cat crocodile pass half the turn kitten, half crocodile <laughs> untap i just love the creature typings on these cat crocodile raw for turn Tap, roll six-sided dice. Three. three. So it was, it's a on a three or lower, I get colorless. So I couldn't increase it to four to get colored mana. Yeah. Is that worth it? Do you need it? Oh, you have well, to I do tap have, this to use yeah. it. So yeah, that's a good point. I think it is, just because it's fine. So we'll increase it to four. And then we'll add a red. Sounds good. And then more. So double red for a work of double. Assemble two contraptions. Sounds good. Oak and power suit. Whenever you crank it, it gets plus X plus X, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. That's not really relevant yet, so we'll put that on two. It could be and, if you get this. Yeah. And record store. Look at the top X card to your library, where X is the number of artifacts you control. Put one of those into your hand and the rest in the bottom of the library. That's pretty good. We'll put that on one. And then the crank counter goes on three. So it goes to one on my upkeep. Yeah. And shall attack for one. 18. Turgo. All right. All right, half kitten, half crocodile. You got to get us there. Draw a card. Um, Did you get your basic land? Oh, because I was dealt damage? No, I didn't. But uh, is it a May? It's not a May. I'll just do it. I didn't think of that until after. Yeah, I didn't Otherwise, I wouldn't have attacked. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, wait, right? Mm. All right. Oh, it's also worth noting, we to keep the surprise alive, we didn't play test these decks at all, so it's mm -hmm. the first time we were using them. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to save these to do all at once. 
So here's a forest. And we will play an eager beaver. So when it enters the battlefield, I can untap target permanent. I'll choose this. Just in case we need it. Um, let me see here. Did I play a land this turn? Yeah. I must have, right? Yeah, because yeah. I missed a land drop, but that yeah, would have been my correct four. Okay, is it worth attacking you for two? Probably. Bash for two. 16. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep, move the crank counter. So, record store, get a look at the top four cards, since I control four artifacts. Mm -hmm. And put one of them into my hand, and the oh, rest this on the is bottom. A... Damn it, this is sorcery. <laughs> okay, never mind. Do I have to reveal it? No, I do not. So, Frosty. Frosty, come over here. Hi. <laughs> This is going to be hilarious. These are the four I'm revealing, and we're going to take this one. And then these go on the bottom in any order. Oh, in a random order. Okay. I mean, I would show camera one. This this takes time to focus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, immediately playing one I'm going to play. So, draw for turn. Forest. Mm-hmm. And Chittering Doom. Okay. Whenever I roll a four or higher on a dice, create a 1-1 one, one squirrel. Ooh. Okay. Do you have some squirrels? Or do you need the token box? We have, no. Over here. Yeah, we're probably going to... So, I'm going to roll a dice. Own. And it's five. Ooh. Could be a six. I think just five is good enough, so we'll get a squirrel. Yep. And this is a five or higher, so he gets plus five, plus five till end of turn. Wow. Okay. And six. How much does, do I care about this eager beaver? <laughs> I will... Uh, I'll take it. Twelve. Intergo. Untap. Draw for turn. That's enough of those. Here's a forest. Um, so that's a 1-1. One, one. This is what? Also 1-1? 1-1, 1-1. 1-1. One, 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 one. One, one. All my squirrels are 1-1. One, one. Hmm. No, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta save this because it's hilarious. So I will bash for... I also just realized I forgot to get a land again. <laughs> Because he dealt damage to me. Um, so this time I'm just not going to do it. Because I forgot. Because I'm an idiot. Um, let's see. So I could take 6, 7, 8. Potentially. That card's very good. Well, it's going to trigger first. So. Yeah. Giving plus one, plus one is really not going to be too true helpful at the moment. I will bash with both of these. I will Four, block five. three of it. Sure. Take two, go in a 14. Okay. Pass the turn. This time I am not going to forget Unchat. if you deal damage to me to get a land. I'm going to try my best. Upkeep. So we'll give Steel Squirrel plus one plus one. Okay. And draw for turn. Three mana, so is that just better? Is that better or more dice? I like the more dice. So here is a Mad Science Fair project. Okay. Tap, roll the dice. Oof. Five. Pump him. Yep. Get a squirrel. And we shall. Doesn't matter what I add. Yeah. It'll be green. And tap the other one. Roll. Oh. Six. Oh. <laughs> um, Brutal. So we get a squirrel. 
Well, actually, before, I'm going to make that a seven, because I want to roll a seven on a six-sided dice. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll get plus seven, plus seven, and we'll make a squirrel. Yep. And we shall attack for 13. <laughs> well, I feel really bad, but... Frosty, <laughs> person outside the game chooses an attacking or blocking creature. Target opponent controls that player, sacrifices uh, that creature. Wait, so, uh, so you have to choose an attacking or blocking creature he controls, and then he has to sacrifice that creature. So go ahead and make your decision here. Uh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> not a hard decision. I was, I was really worried that you may have played around that by not... Increasing to seven and sending just in the one one as sacrifice fodder, but yeah, that turned out pretty good for me. Actually, it would have been fourteen because I forgot the oak and power suit. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's too tempting. Yeah, to just roll a seven on a six sided dice. You can't really say you've done that. I don't really get why you guys didn't choose Boopster instead. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a tripod. We might be here a while <laughs> if if that was the case. Draw a card. Get him a slow play warning. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you're at 14. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Okay, so this this won't kill you, but it's probably the funniest thing I've ever done on camera. So half kitten, half crocodile, who doesn't have fists, I must say, is going to really epic punch a squirrel. <gasps> and then he's going to really epic punch a squirrel. Wow. And then he's going to really epic punch this. A squirrel. Yes. <laughs> and that gives him a permanent plus six, plus six. <laughs> but that's squirrel with tokens. I had one in my opening hand, and my first two draws were the other ones. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to attack you for eight, nine, ten, eleven. Go three. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, man. Untap. At that point, I was just saving them so I could use them all in one turn. Drop a This is a pretty epic kitten. Squirrels can take over the earth. It's true. They did in Rick and Morty. <laughs> Mountain. And. I mean, if you can take this off the tap table. for I'm mana. Terrible shape, but. So four. So we get a squirrel. And we'll add a red. And tap the other one. Yep. A five. We get a squirrel. And we'll add. A red. Mm -hmm. So you've got access to seven um, mana? Yes. Did you do all this shenanigans? Oh yeah, sorry. This would have moved to the blank square. Look at that level of concentration, people. <laughs> so focused. So we have two squirrels that could block. Is that enough to survive? I'm going to bank that it is... No, I don't have my snickering squirrel anymore. So I don't want to. <laughs> so, this is like a battle of really weird animals. Squirrels, I've got a beaver and a kitten crocodile. Two of that. And two yep. for a buzzing wackadoodle. <laughs> okay. And so we each have to choose whack or doodle secretly and then reveal them. And then if we both choose whack, Target I have it gains tap. Target player loses two life. So if we both choose doodle, it's you gain three life. And if they're mismatched, then it's buzz, which is two tap draw card. Okay. So wacky how we, doodle. How are we gonna do this here? We're going to. I mean, we have a board on each side. We do have a board on each side. So we're each gonna write what we are without looking, or what we're picking without looking. So you're not looking? Not looking. Okay. Desac kiss. Mm. All right. So can we turn around? Yeah. Ah, oh, doodle. doodle. I mean, how can we not pick doodle? It's a funny word. <laughs> I'd much rather the repeated life gain and squirrels <laughs> jump blockers when I'm at three. Yeah. So, so, so for doodle, life. you get. Yeah. Tap, gain three life. Yeah. Enter go. All right. Untap. Draw a card. Um, 
yeah, I probably don't want to do that. So you got two squirrels and you have to block me. Yeah, because you have a giant half kitten, half crocodile. Oh, it's very big. It is an eight. <laughs> Jesus. It is an eight, uh, nine. Um, yeah, so I will bash with these two. Well, I'll gain three life going to six. Sounds and good. And I'll block the half kitten and take three. Okay. Go to three. Um, I'll play Plains as my land for the turn. And then I will cast an Ordinary Pony, and I will flicker Eager Beaver, because flickering this would be a terrible idea. Yeah. Um, so I'll flicker Eager Beaver, and I will use that to untap this. Pass the turn. Untap. Or, I guess, upkeep. Yep. Record store. One, two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm. Hmm. See, this is tempting, but we don't have the life to do that, which is sad. So I think we're going to take this guy. And the rest on the bottom in a random order. I don't know. That didn't look so random to me. Draw for turn. <laughs> so do you have to tap to crank? I'm not sure what it, how it works. Doesn't no, really matter. it's like the sprocket moves. Oh, yeah, sure. And you can only when yep. the sprocket moves to the right. Makes sense. Like there's three times. And we'll play this forest. Yep. And so you have eight mana. Two for Kark Crocs other <laughs> thumb. Sure. So we can re-roll any dice. And now we're going to Mad Science Fair Project. You get to roll two? Yeah, and Still? ignore one. Oh, yeah, that's the thumb. So, yeah. <laughs> two ones, snake eyes, so we get a colorless, but that doesn't matter. I don't need to worry about colored mana. And Oof. we'll take a red. Okay, red and a colorless. And then six mana, or so, since there was a six, I get a squirrel. Yep. And six mana for Steam Floggery. Roll a six out ah. of dice and assemble a number of contraptions equal to the result. Oh, God. <laughs> Hmm. That's three contraptions. That's still pretty good. It's decent, but... So, a Boom Flinger. I roll two six-sided dice and deal damage equal to the difference between them. Okay. We're going to put that one on two. Thud for duds. When you crank it, roll two six-sided dice. It deals damage to target creature equal to the difference between those results. Why is that one different? This one deals damage to target player. Ah. So that one can go in three. Okay. And then the target creature one will go in two. Yep. And buzz buggy. Target creature gets plus two plus O oh, and gains trample. Okay. Um, I don't. Really you're probably not getting it, in so there. We'll yeah. Put it on one. Sounds good. And it's your go. It's just still alive, unless I get something to pair with pony. As far as I know, well, you can gain life too, so that's something. Or that. Huh. Uh, yeah. Beats. Game three, go to six. Yep. And block that. Block Eever Beaver. Beaver. Sure. Take two. Go to four. <laughs> All right. Um, so play Plains as our land for the turn. And we'll cast another Ordinary Pony, which will flicker the beaver, which will untap this. Pass the Ooh. turn. So now we have two ponies. Untap. Pretty good stuff. I'm a little worried about all the shenanigans that you have on your side of the board, but... Upkeep. Well, we don't have any creatures to pump, so that's helpful. And then we'll roll. So, for my first roll... Yep. We'll take the one... Okay. And for my second roll, we'll, we'll take four, <laughs> and we'll deal three damage to Eager Beaver. Sure. Sounds good. And draw for turn. That's not really what we wanted. So, so you didn't get squirrels on either of those, right? 
Because you need... Oh, I needed a four, right? You so needed a four. A squirrel. Yeah. Well, you rolled two fours, but you threw one of them out. So yeah, you, so that the difference. Count. So yeah, yeah, because I ignore one of the rolls. Sure. So it shouldn't count, I don't think. Mad Science Fair project. It's also worth noting this is a. Uh, oh, which, which one? Mm. I think we'll take this one. Okay. We'll add a red. Yeah. Get a squirrel. And tap the other one. And we'll take the five. Yep. Get a squirrel. Now, both of those could have gotten us a squirrel. We've got squirrels for days now. <laughs> Hummingbird and... off the top, please. I need this. And so we've got two mana so far. Yeah. So six mana for Mario Kill, which is just a 5-5. Five, five. Okay. Enter go. 5-5 five, is pretty good still. Draw a card. Hmm. Okay, so you got a 5-5 five, five and three 1-1s. One, yep. So still not enough to kill my kitten. Nope. I'll bash with the kitten. One squirrel will get in the way. Deal. It's a good thing he's a kitten so he can get distracted by a squirrel. <laughs> it's a good thing he's a kitten has nine lives. It's true. That too. So I'll play another planes. And I'm really getting tired of drawing these lands. Pass the turn. End of your turn. I shall gain three life. Going to seven. Yep. Untap. Upkeep. So we roll two six-sided dice. Mm -hmm. And the difference. So for our first roll, Oof. we shall take... Oh, that's tough. That is tough. I'd probably take the one. I think that's still correct, yeah. We'll take the one. And then for our second dice... Well, <laughs> I mean, we'll take a six. Sure. So we'll get a squirrel from that. Yeah. And we'll deal five damage to you. Okay. So I will take that, go into seven. And this time, I've been dealt damage. So I'm going to search for a basic land. Because <laughs> you're really tired of drawing them. Uh, let's see how many I've got left. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six left. And then we shall draw for turn. And here's a mountain. Battle of the lands over here. Apparently. And... Yeah, you got a lot of mana, too. Of course, your top hand's better than mine, I think. Mad Science Fair Project. We'll take the three and get a colorless. Okay. Mad Science Fair Project. We'll take the four, add a red, and get a squirrel. And... It's your go. All right. I really need some flying. Or another basic land. <laughs> sure, that, that works too. Uh, at this point, I don't think I want to attack you. <laughs> so I'm not going to. Go ahead. End of your turn. Gain life going to 10. This is karma for all the all the like times I probably could have won this game and didn't. <laughs> Untap. Yeah, if you just... Didn't plan out the punches for all one round. I had to. You had, I know, you you had to. Yeah, you have to. If you got so. three epic punches. Untap. With something that doesn't have fists. Upkeep. Um, we shall give... This squirrel now gets plus two, plus oh, and trample. Sure. He's a mighty squirrel. I don't think it's getting past my eight, nine. No. But Even sure. Mario Kale wasn't, so. <laughs> and record store, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine, nine. Yeah. artifacts. So we get to look at the top nine cards and choose one of them. Jesus. <laughs> is there something? Yeah, there is. <laughs> there better be something in that many cards. Mm -hmm. Decisions, decisions. See, this would combo pretty great with Mario Kill. But there's this card that's this one, and we're taking this one. I think I, I, think I know what you mean. I think I know what this is, and I'm excited. I must say, if I'm correct in my assessment. And then we'll draw for turn. So how much mana do I have? Too much. <laughs> we both have too much. So we play this forest. Uh, I have eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Which is just short of being able to do both. Shame. <laughs> well... 
Mad Science Fair Project. Yep. We shall roll. We'll take the six, get a squirrel. Sounds good. And add a black. And the second Mad Science Fair Project. We'll roll. Mm. We'll take a two, get a colorless. Yep. No squirrely. And then two, six, seven, eight, four, summon the pack. So we get to open a sealed magic booster, reveal the cards, and put all creatures revealed this way onto the battlefield under my control. Sounds good. And there's good. zombies in addition to their other types. So, so we're we'll, we need more board space over here. Well, we we can open the pack somewhere else on camera too. Yeah, course. but I mean to put the creatures. Sure. Yeah, there's that. Move my contraptions down. <laughs> That's the booster. And oh man, I probably the there's probably so many opportunities I could have won this game, but I I like how this turned out. So, so, so which pack? Frosty, which pack should I open? Uh, I don't think that's uh, my choice to make. I well, mean, it is. Yeah. He's, he's giving it to you. I'm giving it to you. Very well. In that case, let's go... Uh, uh, what has the greatest hope against the kitten crocodile? <laughs> Scourge. All right. This is scary. <laughs> this is scary. Is this the end Fire, of Chubby? Aim, ready. So we have a Goblin War Strike, a Mercurial Kite, which is a creature, a Frontline Strategist, a Titanic Bullvox, <laughs> Reaping the Graves, Skill Storm Card, a Rock Jockey, an Avon Liberator, a Twisted Abomination, he's, he's already comes as a zombie, a Sprouting Vines, a Coast Watcher, Proteus Machine, Cabal Interrogator, Ash Blight, and Decree of Justice, and oh, that's a Oil good. Dragon Wings. Decree of Justice is like one of the yeah. most playable cards in that set. <laughs> Look at that. I don't think we had a playset yet, though I don't think you ever play a playset. No. But... <laughs> hey, so we get all these creatures. Maybe in like a, what's, what's that, like Sly deck? Is that the one that... Astral Slide. That's what I was thinking of. Astral Slide. <laughs> None of these are really great. I'm at Protection seven, from so green. all you gotta do is <laughs> get enough board presence. We got a 5-3 with who we can regenerate, so there's that. Uh, yeah, turn face up. That's not helpful. Uh, you can't play Rock Jockey if you play the land. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Titanic Bullvox. A 7-4 with Trample's just not big enough. I mean, I've got three uh, dudes. Prevent all non combat damage when turned face up. <laughs> I'm and pretty when sure you this got one this. deals combat damage to a creature, tap that creature. It doesn't untap. That's not very great. None of those are super exciting, but but there's enough of them. But they're mine. <laughs> all right, enter go. Please, no basic land off the top. Go. Please. Oh, thank God. Uh, I mean, that's not much better. But, but it ain't a basic land. I might as well. I might as well not have any lands left in my deck. So here's a wild crocodile. <laughs> Go fetch another basic. And basic. since, uh, you know, since you've obviously seen that this is the basic land that I fetched, it would make sense to play this one. But we're gonna play this one instead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I was really hoping for a in kind turn, slaver. Riveting play. Game oh life, yeah. Going to thirteen. Untap. Don't forget to uh, do this, too. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, so upkeep uh, <laughs> to deal damage to a creature. We'll yeah. roll two dice. So we'll take the six as yep. our high roll, and that will get us a squirrel. Come on. We'll take a two as our low okay. and deal four damage to an ordinary pony. You've successfully killed a pony. A little girl's dreams died today. And you killed token her pony. power suit <laughs> will give plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the greatest power among creatures I control. Oh, that's very good. So I have a 7-4. Yeah, that's very good. And I have a flyer, and you don't have a flyer. You could also just give plus 7 to the trampler. Yeah, to the make it a 14. <laughs> he's already got trample. I think, yeah, he's just... We now have a 14... 14-4. 14-11. Oh, it gives toughness, too? Yeah, it gives plus X oh, okay. plus X, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. Sounds good. So, a 14-11. That is a little bigger than my 8-9. We'll drop I, a turn. I will admit to that. 
And we shall attack for... <laughs> God. Five in the air. I'm gonna make this easy for you. I'm not blocking. What? <laughs> This what? might be the most damage anyone's done, so <laughs> I don't know. It's a 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 22, 38. Got our squirrels, too. I am, my squirrels, right. One of them can't attack. Yeah, so you're at 38 currently? 36. 36. 41. 36. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Before combat damage. Oh, that's fun. I'm going to switch Mario Kill out for this delighted kill bot in my hand. Okay. And then still before damage. Yep. I'm going to replace my delighted kill bot with Mario Kill. Okay. And then again? And then damage happens. You could do it again, probably. Uh, with those. <laughs> I don't think we need yeah, to go that Yeah, I, I, think, I think that might be enough. So I will take Game that. Game life before combat. And, uh, 16. Why not? I will, I will take that, and I will lose. And I'm going to be upset if this is a kind slaver on top. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, man. Wow. Jeez. All right, well. Lands. <laughs> That works. Days. That works for me. All right. So that was game two, and we will see you in game three. All right, game three. So this time, I've got two of these and two of these. Hopefully, I don't end up with all of these again, but we'll see. And I love this card, so it's gonna be fun. I think by saying something like all of these, Akis kind of knows what you're referring to. I honestly don't really care. <laughs> Go ahead. And we've got those. Whoop. All right. Forest. Go ahead. Draw for turn. Ho 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 ho. <laughs> We're gonna lead with. A secret base. Yep. Enter go. Draw. Aw, that's pretty cute. Oh well. That is not cute. <laughs> oh, that, that oh oh that, oh oh. That is so cute. That that's pretty damn adorable. Yeah. It's a kitten. Yeah. <laughs> it's the half you haven't seen yet. Uh, so play a wild crocodile. Go get a forest. Pass the turn. Draw for turn. Are you cute? Ah, uh, ah, uh, are you? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to get camera one to be able to record camera two. I don't know if it's working. It is. Wow. We'll play a forest. I never mm. mind about camera three. <laughs> I forgot about camera three completely. Me too, actually. <laughs> Here is. That's camera three. Right. A steel there. squirrel. Here we go. Untap. That goes to my hand, not the battlefield. Draw a card. Oh, finally. That's a that's pretty sweet. You drew an all land. Um, this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty interesting. So you know how I'm absolutely tired of lands, right? Yeah. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play forest, and then we're gonna turn wild crocodile into serpentine croc crocodile. So it's whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, <laughs> I fetch another land and put it into my hand. So, so I'm, I'm, that's it. I don't want to draw any more land, so I'm just going to take them all out of my deck. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. And now I'm probably not going to ever draw another land, which would be a par for the course, but this allows me to attack you for four. We'll take it. Go to 16. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Not really what we wanted staring that down. So, a mountain. Yep. And tap to add a black, but only with that symbol, for a snickering squirrel. Sure. And 
A curious kill bot. Okay. That could be a Mario kill next turn. Should be kind of scary. Draw a card. That one's fine. So this turn, since we didn't draw land, <laughs> uh, but that's all right. We're going to play another wild crocodile to find one. <laughs> to just go find the land. Yeah. So we'll get a planes out of that, and then we'll play our planes for the turn. And when a land enters battlefield under my control, I go fetch another one. So we'll get a forest. Um, and we will also put an adorable little kitten into play. Aww. So when it enters the battlefield, I roll a six-sided dice and I gain life equal to the result. And you so. didn't want a serpentine? A serpentine. Well, I'm saving this because I want half kitten, half kitten. Ah, yes, of course. Yeah, that's that was my goal from, like, even when we started opening these cards. So that's the reason I'm playing this deck. So I gained three life. How cute. 23. Um, and I don't think you probably don't want to trade all of these for my Serpentine Crocodile. Maybe you do. But if you do that, I'm fine with it. So I'll attack for four. Mm, we're blocked with the Sneakering Squirrel. Sounds good. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. And back to this, huh? Crark's other thumb. Yep. Enter go. Untap. <laughs> Draw a card. Ah, so close. Um, that one's actually not terrible, but this turn I have to do this. So I'm going to play a Kind Slaver. Oh, Kind yeah. Slaver. Um, and I also, I played a land, right? Yeah, so you so got to go find a land. Search. Did I? Yeah, I must have. Yeah. I must have played one. Yeah, you I must have played one, a land. And I don't have one in my hand. So, I'll go search for another land. <laughs> Get a plains. Bash for four. Bash for four. Mm. We'll take it. Go to 12. Okay. Pass the turn. Untap. Come on, half kitten, half kitten. Raw for turn. There we go. Here is a mad science fair project. Okay. Enter go. I think I'm doing a little more mad science than you are <laughs> right now. Little little bit of splicing. Draw a card. That one's fine, I guess. Uh, so we'll play a planes. Go fetch a planes. Lands for days. I'm just picking the first <laughs> ones I see because I really don't care. Okay, and uh, let's have a little fun. So... What do you got here? Just those ones. So, bash for four again. Okay, before combat. Tap to roll the dice, which I roll two instead. Yep. <sighs> Can't pump steel squirrels, so we shall... Hmm. Block now. No, we'll take it. Go to eight. Sounds good. Um, yeah, so... Frosty, you he's not going to do anything. Huh? He's not going to be able to do anything if he plays for my turn on this time. Well, you still get to draw a card. Yeah, yeah. I just don't think he's going to do anything exciting with this hand. Okay. <laughs> Fine, we'll save it. I'm, I'm doing the same thing as the first yeah. game and just drawing my top end. Yeah, I'm noticing that. <laughs> okay, so what we'll do then instead, Ordinary Pony, Flicker our adorable kitten. Roll a six-sided dice. Three. So we got a 26. And we will play another Ordinary Pony, Flickering the Kitten. Four. Ooh. Thirty. And I'll pass turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Enter go. Ooh. Ooh. That, is, that is bad. Um, okay. Draw for turn. This is why I'm standing on the winning side. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. So so still no kind slavering, probably? Nothing good? No yeah, he's going to be able to like cast one spell and it's not going to do anything. Okay, so here's here's what we're going to do to make this fun, then. I'm going to play planes, go fetch a land. So much land. Yeah. 
Must be nice. Well, that's a pretty potent yeah, combo. Yeah, that is, that is terrifying. This worm crocodile is really getting in there. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to... Let's see. So that one rolls a bunch of stuff. You're at eight? Yes. We're going to really epic punch. That will fight this. In response, tap that. And we'll get plus five, plus five. That's pretty good. So he's now a six, six. Yep. You got it. And they'll trade. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and we'll add a red. And then I will pass the turn. End of your turn. Mario kill. Yep. Untap. Drop a turn. Did you get some action? We got a forest. And... What is best here? We shall go for a good old-fashioned buzzing wackadoodle. Okay. So we each have to pick a thing? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go with that. Are you done? Yeah. We can turn. Doodle. <laughs> Both get doodled. Both get doodled. So it taps to gain the life. Yep. And it's your go. End of your turn, I'm gonna kind slaver. I'm gonna choose me. You can have my turn. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You you get to have my next turn. I'm not even a player. Well, you get yeah. you get my next turn. And we can't give you any and kind of advice. And we can't tell you anything at all. What? Well, I think yeah. we can tell him that he's breaking the rules, but we can't give him sure. advice on what sure. to do. I was gonna say, I haven't yeah. played magic in about a exactly. year now. Exactly. Two years? Exactly. So I was saying, if I had one more land, I'd like really like him to roll the dice for me. Yeah. <laughs> but I was not getting land. All right. Let's let's see what he does. I, ha I haven't even been paying attention to what's been going exactly. on. Exactly. <laughs> That's the fun bit. Ah. Uh, so is this a new turn? Yes. Okay. I did that on his end step, so... You so, untap, upkeep. Draw. Yep. I remember that much, at least. Oh, yeah. Ah. Ah. We'll play a forest. Ah, blah, blah, blah. When this the one that repeats died. Yeah, okay. Ah. Can't talk to him, remember? We just can't give him advice. <laughs> it's true. Can't talk at all? Oh man, this is awful. So, that's, come on, you may exit those around. Those aren't combined. They're all separate. Yeah, I, I kind of noticed that. Uh, how much health are you at? Eight. All right. Uh, So many decisions. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. All the man in the world for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, not anymore. You took care of my dude. <laughs> I did that for fun. So I probably could have <laughs> killed you this turn, but probably. This is more entertaining. All right. Pay four. Uh, nope. Five. For Mother Kangaroo. So when this creature enters the battlefield, roll a six out of die. Uh, put a num put a number of plus one one counters on the creature equal to the result. One. Very good. Very good. On. I didn't. You could just use that. Dice adorable one. kitten. Oh, is it any? Oh, look at that. It's no, on this creature. I'm unable to read. Oops. Uh, and then, you know what? We're going all in. Well, that has summoning sickness. That it does. I forgot about that. I forgot that was a thing. 
Well, I shall block a 2-3. And before combat damage, gain 3 life, go into 11. And then take 1, 2, 3, 4. Hold up. Oh. In response, just cause, I'll play sacrifice play. Person outside <laughs> the game chooses an attack and or blocking or attack well, or blocking. Is he outside the game? Oh yeah. I, I, I don't I, think there's a player outside the game in this room. I close enough. No, you're not. Okay, that's your well, board. <laughs> what if I choose him? Then we're here for an hour. Oh. Oh. I don't think you can cast that because the only person that's outside of the game would have been you. Well, am I technically out of the game if he's taking my turn? No. Also, I'm he's not allowed just... to give him advice. Does this count as advice? It's it's true, actually. I think he's... Yeah, I would classify like, would him as advice. still in the game. Yeah, he's still in the game. Hmm. So I... I think you can cast it in this instance. And we lose because we don't know. Let's contact a judge. Mr. Boopster? Yeah, because he's controlling you during your turn. Yeah. So really, he's supposed to be telling you what to do. Mr. Boopster, make a decision. <laughs> Mr. Boopster? M Mr. Boopster, evens or odds? Evens, he has to choose. He has to choose. Odds, he doesn't. That's how we'll do this. Odds. So... <laughs> Mr. Boopster would choose that pony. Okay. <laughs> Boopster said it himself. Uh, this doesn't seem fair to me. <laughs> but okay. Boopster said his word. I mean, yeah, word. yeah. His his word is his word is gospel. I'm I'm exactly. sorry, but it's like it's I don't. I'm just. All right, dead pony. Little, yeah, dead pony. Dead pony. Dead pony. <laughs> Mr. Boopster's word is gospel. I'm sorry, but it's he's... yeah. No, it's it's. I'm not allowed to talk to you, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't been doing a great job of that. But okay, well... Take um, two going to nine. Yeah, that'll... And this pony dies. To Mario kill. Oh, right. And uh, yeah, all right. Passing the turn. I am. Passing the camera. <laughs> what did you do to me? <laughs> good lord. I, uh... I had such a good... <laughs> good lord. All right, fair enough. Draw for turn. Uh, it's mana, but... You, you can thank Mr. Boopster for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Boopster. <laughs> Don't worry. Boopster He's a mad science bear project. <laughs> I mean, his word is gospel. It's not nothing I can do about and it. And it's your go. Actually my go for a change? <laughs> All right, we're going to draw... Uh, hmm... It's like not even worth doing that, huh? The most exciting bit if you controlled my turn was being able to choose whack or doodle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a half squirrel, half kangaroo. So now it's a zero, or I suppose a one, two. So whenever but whenever a non-token non creature enters the battlefield, I get to do this. And, uh, oh. yeah, I have terrible attacks, so pass the turn. <laughs> Untap. Or I guess end turn. I'll gain three life, go to 12. And then we'll untap. Okay. Draw for turn. Ooh, do we play that instead? Oh, uh, it'd only be two. I think we want to go for one of these first. We do need to manage, so we'll tap this. And we shall choose the four, making a red. Yep. And we'll tap this. Choosing Ooh, the six, yeah. making a red. And then four more mana to that for some steam floggery. Okay. So we'll roll a six-sided dice to assemble that many contraptions. And with, the, with our other thumb, we get to roll two dice. We'll take six. Okay. We get six, six contraptions. contraptions. Oh, <laughs> Lord. If only you had one so, earlier. What yeah, were you thinking? Right? What were you, you thinking? Plus, 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 you don't have to explain all of them. Can't do it. Uh, create two colorless gnomes. Yeah. Oh, that's a new one. That's a new one. Rapid prototyper creates an XX where X is the number of artifacts you control. Yeah, we're going to put that one on. 
one. Uh, two creatures get plus two plus two until end of turn. We'll put that on that one. Uh, two plus one plus one counters. We'll put that on that one. And our last one is a goblin sling bow, slingshot, which gives target creature plus two plus oh and trample until end of turn. Didn't we have... Oh, creatures you control. I'm like, yeah. this common and this rare have the same text. But no, the, <laughs> yeah, the rare that's a little is better. all creatures, which is a little better. And we'll put that on the last Not one. that you have too many at the moment. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we're going to get some gnome balls. True, you will get some gnomes. And you will be gnoming. It's your go. All right. <laughs> so we will draw a card. Uh. Eager Beaver. And Which gets you uh, yeah. to roll so a six-sided dice. We'll do that. Great. <laughs> yeah, I'm much better at it. <laughs> Another one. Slow and steady. Apparently. And a forest. It does and trigger off text. my creatures, so you're going to roll that dice a lot. That's true. I That's why I debated putting this on this, but that would just take the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah, it's just... And I really want half kitten, half kitten. So, pass yeah, the turn. get rid of the half kitten. <laughs> End of your turn, I'll gain three. Yep. Get a 15. Oh, man. Untap. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Upkeep. So, we get to... Pretty sure I lost. Spin. So, <laughs> two gnomes, and I don't know if we had enough gnomes over here. So, two gnomes... Yeah, so we get a gnome. We only have one of them, so. Woo! Eleven counters. Eleven counters. And then we shall rapid prototyper to create an XX, where X is the number of artifacts I control. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you make a twelve twelve? I make a twelve twelve construct. Another five! Sixteen. Wow. This guy's already bigger than it. <laughs> Pretty good. This is a 12 12. Okay. I have and a 16 17. We shall give Mario kill plus two plus O oh and trample until end of turn. Sure. But she's not really attacking. <laughs> no. A, not so much. Into a 15 16. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He could eat. An Emrakul. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Unfortunately, it's on the ground, so... <laughs> yeah, that's that. exciting. And, uh... Mad Science Fair Project. Yep. Five, adding a red. Mad Science Fair Project. Six, adding a red. Yep. Four mana. In yep. addition, stop me if this sounds familiar. Steam Floggery. Oh, great. <laughs> More of these. <laughs> Which do I choose? <laughs> I'll take a six to get six more contraptions. Yep. Have you considered going to the casino? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Boom flinger, which deals damage to target player equal to the difference of the dice roll. Oaken power suit, which gives plus X plus X. That's going to be terrifying. We'll yep. put that on the next. Or no, we'll put that on three with a everything has trample. Top secret tunnel to give something that can't be blocked this turn. We'll put that on three. Quick stick lick trick. Target creature gets plus one plus one and gains lifelink until end of turn. Mm -hmm. We'll put that on three. Dual doom suits, which give each time a source you control will deal damage this turn, it deals double that damage instead. We're gonna put that on three. And for our last one, a gift horse. Which rolls two six-sided dice and it create a number of one one red goblins equal to the difference. We'll put that on two. All right. <laughs> I've only got three cards left in my Lord, contraption. Do you deck. lose if you if you run out? No. <laughs> and yeah, there's no use in attacking, so it's your go. Eager beaver. <laughs> really hoping for like you can't really make your giant guy flying. No, I can't. <sighs> so Sign. this is a this is bigger than anything you can do so i'm gonna send in for 21 
Wasn't it? A 20, it's a twenty-one twenty-two. Because oh. it hits a zero one. So twenty-one twenty-two. We'll block with one of my gnomes. Sure. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> End of your turn. We'll gain three life. Also, I guess I'll untap this permanent. Eighteen. Oh man. <laughs> untap. You know, I try and be kind <laughs> one time, and then you throw away my removal spells <laughs> and my big creature. And now I'm absolutely losing. <laughs> Upkeep. Um, what shall we do first? Let's do the damage to a player equal to the difference between. So for our first dice, it shall be a five. And our second dice, it shall be <laughs> a four and we'll deal one damage to you. I'm gonna go to 29. And then we'll roll two dice to decide how many goblins we make. We'll take, hmm, is it the five or the two? I think we'll take the two this time. Okay. And we'll take the six and make four goblins. <laughs> Which means you have to roll four. 10, 16 more counters. <laughs> you got this. I need a 20. Does, does someone have a 20? Um. No, you threw them all on the floor. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> a thirty? Okay. So what what did I what did I say this was here? Here's, Ten here's sixteen. 60. Uh sixteen, so that's thirty-seven. So we made four goblins. Jeez, this dice. And then we shall give plus two plus two to up to two target creatures to two of my goblins. And then we'll put Two plus one plus one counters on target creature, and it's going to be on this guy. Okay. So he gets two counters in addition to being a 12 12. Yep. Enter go. <laughs> I'll untap my 37 38. Great. Go. Actually, you know what? Now, nah. swing for 37. Swing for 37. Yep. It's a terrible it attack, goblin, but I'm going to do it. Gnome. Go ahead. End of your turn, we'll gain three life. Yep. Going to 21. That noble sacrifice from that noble gnome. Uh, untap. <laughs> this has suddenly turned into, like, the worst thing I've ever experienced. Up <laughs> Upkeep. So, whenever a source I control would deal damage this turn, it deals double da damage this turn. Yeah. He will get plus one, plus one on lifelink. Yeah. He can't be blocked this turn. Yeah. Uh, he gets plus X plus X, where X is the greatest power among creatures I control, which yep. is 15, so he's a 30. He's yep. got 30 power. And all creatures get plus 2 plus 0 and trample until in turn. Yep. I guess we could have sequenced that a little better, but I was just going in the order they were on the sprocket. Sure. And. <laughs> raw for turn. You know, I feel compelled to say sorry, but at the same time, <laughs> you made I feel it. like you brought that upon yourself. That's so, what I get for trying to be nice. They, you know how they say nice guys finish last? <laughs> well, I'm going to lose because I was trying so to be nice. Science Fair Project. Yeah. We'll take the five. Yeah. Add a green. Yeah. Mad Science Fair Project. Yeah. We'll take the five. Add a green. Yeah. And then... Six mana total for a Hydra Doodle, who as he enters, I will roll X six-sided dice, which is two. Mm -hmm. So for my first dice, I'll take this five. Mm -hmm. And for my second dice, I'm on autopilot I'll take this right now, six. So. <laughs> so there's an 11. Yep. I got a giant reach trample, Hydra Doodle. Mm -hmm. And how big is that thing? <laughs> So the, the unblockable guy yeah. is 32 power, and he's going to deal double damage this turn. Yeah. So I guess we just swing with everything. Well, don't you all, doesn't everything else kind of have trample, too? Yeah, it has plus two plus seven yeah. trample. And even though there's not that many other things, there's Mario Kill and a goblin. Mm -hmm. And some goblins. <laughs> okay, so you're sending in all these? Yeah. Frosty... Choose an attacking or blocking creature, target opponent controls, and sacrifice that creature. I'll choose the double damage guy. Well, they're all double damage guys. So uh, you have to be more specific. Fair enough. Uh, I guess so, eh? The one with the big dice. The 
the one that's going to deal 64 trample damage? That's correct. Okay. It has the big dice on it, so I feel compelled to <laughs> point that one out. Okay, so what else, what else is coming in here? Um, some four three one goblins, and a seven five. So it's gonna be these are three one goblins. Yeah, that are dealing double damage. Okay, and have trample. So that's twenty four, thirty four, or is this a set? This is a seven five. Seven five. Okay, so. That's 24 and 14. That's 38 total. And they all have trample? Yeah. Hmm. Five, six. Yeah, best I can do is block all of it. I mean, I could have not sent this in, but I kind of just wanted this game to end. <laughs> so I did. Yeah, sure. I wasn't thinking he had anything. So when you attacked with that, I figured you were just like, oh, yeah. Doesn't have a removal spell. Uh, I don't. was hoping you'd block it, or I don't know. I don't. I don't really care because I have no way of getting this through as long as you have a blocker. Yeah. So, so they attacked with my goblins when I didn't. Never mind. Sure. I would have won this next turn if I left that back because I fight your blocker oh. and then attack you. <laughs> bad, bad game. I'll just take it. <laughs> All right, well, that was this. Uh, I'm going to go home and kill myself, so you probably won't see me here next week on account of being dead. And, uh, yeah, so that was this. <laughs> Longest thing ever. It's I Some of it will get cut up, but so far it's about an hour and a half. Uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It, it, was, it was fun. We will see you next week. I'm going to go sleep now. <laughs> Bye.